This is a Sports Radio Live podcast covering your world of sports. Brian Houston Sports Radio Live. It's weekdays at 3 on 99.3 Talk FM, the talk of East Texas. Now on the APEC VIP hotline, cutting edge training for the serious athlete, apecgo.com, the head coach of the state champion, Brook Hill Guard. Boy, that sounds good. Terry Pirtle. Congratulations, coach. How you doing? I'm doing really good today. It feels it feels good to, to accomplish what we set out to do, and uh, today is a lot nicer feeling than a year ago today. How did you celebrate Saturday? Saturday night after yeah. the game, we went to McDonald's and we celebrated as a team. So <laughs> that was uh, kind of a special thing for us. I had, I'd given up French fries ten weeks ago when uh, we lost our last game and and sugar drinks. So that was my way of uh, holding off and seeing if we can win it, and then we'd go celebrate at McDonald's. So we did that. So it was kind of awkward, but that's what we did. <laughs> I love that. Uh, okay, so tell me about the ball game. You guys uh, went up and, and you beat Austin Regents 26-3. to Did you expect, first of all, to dominate them like you did? Well, our game plan the whole week was to run the football to the short side of the field and put uh, we put a special set in to take advantage uh, with our linemen and our big running backs that we had. And um, that was our game plan, and it worked out well for us. Yeah, obviously so. Uh, Gunnar Dorsey had a huge day, 223 yards and three touchdowns. Yes, well, you know, what people don't know is that also a big part of that, obviously, was Colton Campbell and Mason Dickey and, uh, you know, Brian Stevens and Bailey Franklin and Matthew Seams, our offensive line, along with, you know, our two other big running backs that led the way blocking scheme-wise. We mixed our blocking scheme up and uh, with Ross Lee and um, – Dylan Hornick, and they did a great job. Even watching the video afterwards, it was amazing breaking the film down. What a great job those guys did technique-wise. That was the difference in the ball game. And talk about the, your freshman, Chase McDermott. What a game he had. How does a kid that – he doesn't even know how to put his uniform on right yet. He comes out and intercepts two passes in a state championship game. Well, you know, what a lot of people don't know about him is his great – or his granddad was a Hall of Fame basketball player. And his dad is really big and athletic. And Chase is uh, going to be a big, strong, fast kid. And so he's just, you know, starting to grow. And his athletic ability, you know, was such that it, he made some great plays for us. And we're looking for some big things out of him you know, in the future, obviously. Gosh, I guess so. I was talking to somebody, a, a parent of a, a student at Brook Hill, and they were talking about this senior class uh, and how close-knit they were. Can you talk a little bit about that and tell us about them? Well, when I took the job, um, I was really concerned, you know, because my son was leaving Pine Tree. It had been there his whole life. And then I was reassured when I first got here that the uh, class that he was entering was, you know, known as the mob and I didn't really know what that meant until I got here and started experiencing those kids just hang out together and they do everything together and they're a very tight knit group. And, you know, they've developed a bond in the last three years that I've been here like no other. And it showed Saturday night. They're a special group of kids and, you know, the, everything they did, they did together and uh, very, very proud of that group of kids. Yeah, I had heard about the mob and I was kind of wondering what that was all about. <laughs> Well, they, they, uh, you know, they're by no means mischievous, but they do like to have fun. And <laughs> what they do is, what they do is, uh, interesting sometimes. And, uh, but it always is, you know, good nature and, and, and fun, a fun experience being around those guys. Was there ever a point in the ball game where you were concerned at all that your team might not win the ball game? I honestly felt good the whole time. I think the, the backbreaker was when we got up 10-0. to zero. We got up two scores in that eight-minute drive that we had. Even though we didn't punch it in, we kicked the field goal with Clay Wells. Uh, I think that ate a lot of the first half clock up, and I think it demoralized um, Regents a little bit at that point that we were controlling the line of scrimmage. Well, Coach, what does it feel like now to finally get that uh, monkey off the back? I mean, it's, it's like the old Bum Phillips thing where they say you knocked on the door and then you beat on the door and then you finally kicked it in this past weekend. Well, you know, I, I shared with my athletic director after the game, I, I told him, I said, I don't know if I'm happier that we won or happier that we didn't lose. So I understand <laughs> the feeling. You know, I didn't want to be a Marv Levy and go three times in a row and, and lose three times because it's not a good feeling to lose a state championship game. And it is a much better feeling to actually win the game and play your best. 
Yeah. Well, uh, obviously, you guys did it, and uh, we just want to congratulate you for bringing that first state championship back to East Texas, and uh, we wish you many, many more, Coach. You did a great job. Well, thank you, Brian. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you very much for being on. That's Coach Terry Pirtle of the state champion, Brook Hill Guard, and this is Brian Houston Sports Radio Live on 99.3 Talk FM. This is a Sports Radio Live podcast covering your world of sports. Brian Houston Sports Radio Live. It's weekdays at 3 on 99.3 Talk FM, the talk of East Texas.